Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. Stay tuned to find out why Chicago's top realtors are choosing Dan Frio. Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio, and I, of course, am Dan Frio. If you want to call me, please call 630-338-1160. Hey, I got an 800 number now. Take this down. If, you want, if you're out of state, you're watching me on YouTube, you're in California, you want to call 844-775-LOAN. Woohoo! Got me a, like a fancy number now. So, if you want to uh, email me, it's D. Frio, F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. And follow me on the web at 1160mortgage.com. So today I want to talk about refinancing. Does it make sense? How to do it? What's the best programs for you? All kind of things. So I'm going to talk about, let's first talk about taking advantage of today's low rates. The Fed is going to raise or reduce rates um, probably in the for the next six, eight months. Um Here's, here's my, I do a lot of research on this. I have a degree in economics, so I follow a lot of these trends. A lot of times, if you watch some of my YouTube videos, I try to preface it by saying, you know, the, the, the question I always get is, Dan, why you? Why not the other guy? Well, there's a lot of things I do for you. And I hate when somebody will say, well, I call you back, or I'm, I'm available for you, or I got the best rates in town. Uh, who cares? Let's say, let's say somebody is, you compare me to somebody else's. And my costs are, I'm just going to say, $1,000 more than the other place. Okay? Let's just, let's just say that. If you don't know who you're dealing with, and they put you into a program that you shouldn't be in, that's causing you to pay, let's say, for example, pay a little bit higher rate, or they put you into a program that has a higher, just say, a higher PMI factor. Okay? And I won't go into details on exactly what PMI is, but there's, there's multiple programs that have multiple variations of what's called PMI, private mortgage insurance. Let's say, for example, I get you into a program that has very discounted PMI right now because the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac has special programs out there, and my PMI is 48 bucks. But the other guy that's $1,000 cheaper than me, he just flows you through. Doesn't have a clue on the programs or anything. He just he's got you. Okay, we can get you, we can get you approved. And my rate is this, and my my fees are nothing. And I can get you through and, and get you done. Well, then you call back the next day, and he's not the one working there. He no longer works there. You work, you talk to another person, and then that person doesn't really know what's going on. They'll get back with you. Then three days later, they have a supervisor call you and saying those two people were fired. So we're going to assign you to this other person. Make a long story short, that happens every day. I get those phone calls every day. That I don't even, nobody's even calling me back. Nobody has a clue where my, where my loan is. Okay. So that's one part of it. The next part is, let's say my, my PMI is, I forget what I said. I think 40 bucks. Mine's 40 bucks. Theirs is 120. Okay. So theirs is 80 bucks more than mine. So after the first year, which loan's better for you? Which loan's better? Now my thousand dollar fee is equal to theirs. So for the next one, two, seven, 10, 15 years, you're paying that extra 80 bucks a month that you didn't have to. So ultimately, the frustration that you had at the beginning versus the extra cost that you didn't have to have is causing you, is putting you in a worse position than they promised you at the beginning. That happens every day. I get, I get YouTube people calling me from all over the country telling me exactly that. Okay, so that's that part of it. So let's talk about refinancing. Why you might want to refinance? Well, today's rates have just come down dramatically again. So if your rate is over 4.875 or 4.75, please give me a call. Let's do an analysis. Okay, let's do an analysis. What we might be able to do is refinance you and reduce your term. So let's say you have 23 years left. And you're at uh, 4.99. Well, how about we do a 20-year term at 4? Your payment's the same, and you just save two years of payments. 
and your payment is a thousand dollars a month, you save two years, so you just save twenty four payments of a thousand bucks. You just save twenty four thousand dollars. Twenty four thousand dollars. Okay, so that's you know, that's a big piece of you know what you might want to look at doing today. That's just if you have a high rate. So let's say your rate's good. You're like, Dan, I got a, I got a good rate. It's 4.25. Well, today's rate is, I'm just going to say, four, let's say it's four and a half. I'll just say four and a half. And that's, uh, I'm not, this is just, um, you know, I'm not giving you APR and all that stuff. I'm just theoretically throwing out a four and a half rate. But I just uh, did a YouTube video. I just posted probably within the last few days that I did an, a debt consolidation analysis. Okay. Here's the conclusion of this thing is I had, I put in a, a young couple that had, uh, they bought their house nine years ago. They have good equity in the property because they bought it at the crash and the house appreciated. Plus they've made nine years of payments. They have a student loan, a car payment, a personal loan, two credit cards. Those, all of those totaled up to 1600 bucks a month. That's not, that's not including their house payment. That's just their extra payments on all those other accounts. What we did or what we're doing is we're consolidating all those accounts. Okay. All those accounts. Well, the analysis I initially did showed that if we applied that 1600 bucks a month savings to their loan, it would pay off their loan in eight years. They have 22 years left now. Why do they have credit cards and a personal loan? Well, it's because they were they they don't make enough money to adjust to their or, or manage their lifestyle. So what would happen is you know as they're accumulating debt, they get a v, they get the car payment. Now things start running a little bit tight. So now they're buying groceries instead of cash. They're buying it on credit cards. So now each month now they have a credit card bill that comes in that they can't pay in full. So now they run that up. So now they have a car payment that they didn't have six months ago and a credit card. Now they're really getting tight, so they go to get a personal loan. That personal loan fills in the gap short term. Now what? Now they have the car, the credit card, the personal loan. Now they got to go get another credit card to help. So you see where I'm getting on this. So what we're doing is we consolidated the whole thing. Yes, we've reduced their monthly outflow by 1600 bucks, but they were already in a deficiency. So what, what can we do? What was, so my suggestion was, let's put you on a 30-year term, but I don't want you to pay on this thing for 30 years. I don't. I don't want you to stretch it out because it's a ton of interest you're going to pay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what, we're going to apply $500 of that $1,600 in reduction each month that you're getting. We're going to apply that to the, the new mortgage. So every month you're going to send in an extra 500 bucks. What's that do for us? Well, one, it just reduced their monthly outflow by $1,100, which is now putting them more than above equal or where they need to be to live their lifestyle. And get this, the extra $500 they're sending in is going to allow them to pay off their house in 18 years. If you remember back, what I said is they have 22 years remaining now. So we're not only saving them a level or reducing, I won't say save because they're not saving it. They were living above their lifestyle, but we've reduced their monthly outflow by 1600. We took 500 of that and applying to the mortgage. So we've reduced their monthly outflow by 1100 at this point. So now they're okay. They don't have to live on pers personal loans and credit cards. And we're going to pay off the house in 18 years versus 22 years. That's four years of savings. Their house payment is, I think it was 1500 bucks a month. So let me do the math. I got a calculator right here. Let's see what we got. Sorry. sorry. So we got 1500 bucks a month times 48 payments, 72,000, 72,000 in savings uh, of interest that they, they're also getting on this. So, it, you know, it, it does make sense many, many, many times to look into refinancing. 
So I'm not the proponent of keep churning and burning you. I don't, I don't want you to go out there and keep buying cars and credit cards. That's not the goal. You have the debt. I'm trying to help you be responsible with that debt and restructure it to make it manageable and make it make sense. And in this case that I just represented, now also that interest, all 100% of that interest that you pay on that mortgage is tax deductible. So let's say now you just paid, you know, you're going to pay an extra four or $5,000 in interest this year. With the tax credit, you're going to get another 1000 or 2000 back extra on your, your tax refund. So that's even more savings for you. So, and again, many, 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 many times this truly makes sense. There are times where it does not, and I will be the first one to tell you, you know what, that made no sense. I, I don't want to do a loan for you because it doesn't make any sense. What I need you to do is just send an extra 75 bucks a month on your current payment. You'll be good to go. You're going to save one or two years. You're going to pay it off one, two years ahead of time. You're going to save 15,000 bucks. God bless you. Thanks for calling. I greatly appreciate you looking into it because it made sense for you to do that. You know, so again, I'm not trying to put you into any more debt. I'm trying to restructure this debt for you. So, okay. So I'm going to conclude this part of, of the show. If you please, if you need to, my assistance or my help, please reach out to me. Um, I'll give you the, I'll start giving out the, the 800 number so you can reach me there. So if you're all over the country, not only in, in Illinois, you can reach me. It's 844-775-LOAN. 844-775-LOAN. Or you can reach me via email, which is dfrio, F-R-I-O, at parksidelending.com. Or you can find me on the web. That's easy to find me. It's 1160mortgage.com. God bless. We'll be back in two minutes. Welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. And I, of course, am Dan Frio. We're talking about refinancing right now. Refinancing. Does it make sense? And a lot of times you see, well, do this, do that. Many times, I'll just be blunt. Many times I'll run across people that have refinanced and I went through the, the scenario with them and it made no sense. It made the bank money. They got them to skip a payment. They got brainwashed somehow, some way that, you know, it was a beneficial to them, but it didn't. But many times it does. It, it's it, it's an awesome uh, package, but it's individual. So that's why I always say, deal with somebody you can know and trust. So, you know, I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right. So ways you can refinance. So let's say you have an FHA loan. And I, I do a lot of these every month. And you have an FHA loan. You took it out years ago. And your rate's high. And I still I can't fathom how where some of these people come crawl out of the woodworks. But they'll call me and they're like, Dan, I'm, I'm at a 7% interest rate. I have an FHA loan and I need to refinance. Unfortunately, they, you know, they had their, their house depreciated or whatever. And they might owe you know, equal to what they owe on it now. Or they just might be retired and they have a bunch of debt and they d- it doesn't qualify or whatever. So what I'm getting at is FHA and VA both have what they call a streamline process. A streamline. It's very simple. We pull your credit and it's usually a mortgage only credit report to validate that you've, you're current and you made the last 12 payments on time. And there is a benefit. Meaning, I have to reduce your rate at least a half a percent, and I have to save you money. I have to save you money. It's got to make sense for you, not for me, the bank, and whoever else, to to churn and burn and make money. It's got to make sense for you. So what we do is we take that loan. We can do multiple things with it. We can take that loan and flip it into today's rates. That's what we do in every one of them. But the term can be adjusted. We can reduce your term. We can keep the term the same as you have now. We can stretch it back to 30 years if you want. Many t- you, you might say, Dan, that's not a good idea. Well, it's not. it might not be a good idea for you, but it might be a good idea for someone to stay in that home and put food on the table and pay their medicine and pay the heating bill and pay the water bill. It might be good for that person. These streamlined loans, are they can, you can qualify if you have a VA loan or an FHA loan. So again, if your rate right now, I'll say if your rate's 5% or higher and you have an FHA or a VA loan, 
please call me. Please call me. I could take that. I can take your loan as long as your current made the last 12 months payments on time. I can flip it to today's rates and we can adjust that term to fit your budget. The cool thing about this process is we don't need a new appraisal. We don't need any income verification. All we do is we say, you've made your last 12 payments on time. We can reduce your rate, thus reduce your payment. You qualify. You qualify. If you can make the payment now, let's say your payment's 1500 and we're going to bring it down to 1100 If you're paying 1500 bucks a month and you've paid it every month for the last year and you're current and you're on time and everything's good, you can well afford 1100 bucks a month. So you basically, you know, you qualified. So then some people might say, well, that's kind of a dumb loan. You didn't get the house appraised in or you didn't verify their income. But you know what? But that person has proven that they're making payments on time. So do I want to, I want to have somebody that's, that they're showing me they, they can make the $1,500 payment every time with no faults and help them out and bring down their, their payment to 1100 Or do I want to take a chance on somebody new and, and all this other stuff? So that, that's the guidelines. Uh, you might ag- agree with them or you might not agree with them. That's your prerogative. But those are truly the guidelines. Okay, so that's, that's an easy finance way uh, to take advantage of today's rates. Now there's other programs. And you might have just bought the house a year or two ago and your rate was 499 and let's say today we can get you four and save you 100, 200 bucks a month. And I'm doing a lot right now of exactly that. We can refinance the person, save them 200 bucks a month. And the costs are minimal. People are taking advantage of that. Okay. The problem is many, many times those people that they might have used me and I put them into specific programs that we have that only require 3% down. I have programs that get you into a house with 3% down. Okay. So now if you call a lender and they say, you know, we, you don't have enough equity in your home to refinance, please call me because I have programs as long as your, as long as your loan was through and you hear me talk about these two entities all the time, Fannie Mae and or Freddie Mac. If your loan is with one of those companies who, who is the ultimate behind the scenes loan holder, and I can find that out for you, you probably have no idea, but I'll find that out for you. If they are, we can refinance you up to 97% of the home's value. So you might've purchased your home a year ago. The rate was four nine nine. Now the rates four saves you 200 bucks a month. I can refinance you up to 97%. Take care of that. Okay. 200 bucks a month is a lot. If you start applying that to your mortgage, you're probably going to cut, you're going to cut off probably five to seven years on your loan. So you might come back and say, well, I've already, I'm already in the loan for a year. Uh, Do I really want to refinance? Absolutely. Absolutely. Unless you're going to be there only two, three more years. If you're going to be there five to seven years or more, absolutely do it. Um, so that's, that's, you know, other ways that you can refinance other ways. And, and like we talked about at the beginning, other ways that you might want to refinance is consolidation loans. Here's a big program that we have. And right now it's, it's smoking. Many people are, especially in my neighborhood, I have a lot of people calling me. They're putting on roofs. They're putting on decks. They're putting on gazebos. They're finishing their basements. They're rehabbing their kitchens and bathrooms. I have a refinance program. They're renovation programs that will give you money to do the renovations. Okay. It gives you the money based on the future value of your home. So let's say, for example, you have an unfinished basement and your kitchen and bath are 30 years old. You, we though, we then go in, we give you a complete, you know, or you do it, you do a complete basement and you rehab everything to brand new. I probably just bumped your value in your home, 50, 60, $70,000. Okay. If you look to do a home equity loan on that, you might not have the equity to do so. Also, if you don't use every penny of that home equity loan 
for home remodeling, you, the interest isn't tax deductible. So, and in most cases, your rate is an adjustable rate. So let's say you borrowed fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. you are probably not going to pay that off in two, three, four years. What are rates going to be in four or five years from now? Are they going to be higher? Eh, probably. If, how, much, how much in tax deductibility are you not taking advantage of because of that? Because you then probably will take that home equity line, you did all that, but then you used it to <clears throat> maybe pay off a couple bills or do some other things. So now, now it's not, you know, that portion isn't tax deductible and that gets really gray and your accountant might not even want to go there. So this would be a loan based on future value of your home, what it would be worth after you did all the rehabs. It would be a fixed rate loan that's locked in for 20, 30, 40 years, no, 20, 30 years, whatever you want on those. And it is 100% tax deductible. So that's why, you know, these, so that, those are, those are all the way reasons why I would look at refinancing, debt consolidation, uh, home repairs, home updates, putting on additions, things like that. If you have a higher rate, rates five or more, please call me please call me. You might say that's not worth the headaches. Uh, if I can show you and I can say, you know, we can save you $20,000 in interest over the next 10 years. If you say no, whatever. I mean, it, it, what, what drives me nuts is people, they get excited because they have get a you know $50 off coupon if they spend $300 and they're excited. But then I go back and say, you know what? I, I can save you $20,000 in interest. You need all that paperwork. I got to go through all that paperwork again. Come on. So that that's tough, but, um, okay, well, that's it for today. That that's it's today's show. Um, today's hack. I just ran in. I'm going to reiterate this one. Please don't pay off your collections. Don't pay off your collections without talking to me first. Cause what we want to do is we want to see when those collections took place and what they are. I just had a young lady pay off $15,000 in medical collections. Now she has no money to buy a house. She could have put those on payments. She could have negotiated those down. Another caller from Michigan, he called me in and he said, uh, Dan, I just, I just paid off uh, four collections. It cost me $3,000. I'm like, where were the collections from? He's like, ah, probably 10 years ago. I'm like, dude, you just shot yourself in the foot. He's like, you know what? You, you, you know what? You're exactly right, because I'm calling you because my credit score has just plummeted, and I couldn't figure out why until I just watched your video. And I'm like, that was it. You should have called me. So if you're one of those people out there that have the questions, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. So I'm going to start giving you the the 800 number. So it's 844-775-LOAN, or shoot me an email. It's dfrio, which is F-R-I-O, at Parkside Lending. Dot com, or check me out on the web, 1160mortgage.com. That's 1160mortgage.com. I'll be back again tomorrow, God willing. Same time, same place. So please stay tuned. See you then. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM 1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 